Hey Hobby World, Zach and Porter back with another mail day and this one is legendary. Yes it is, that is right. <laughs> We've got two people we want to thank. Uh, one we actually got to meet in person at the recent Oak Creek Card Show and that is uh, Sweatpants Slabs. We will do his uh, mail day second. But our first mail day is from our friend George. At, at KBO Collections. At KBO Collections. Now George was one of our first uh, hobby friends via uh, Bo Thompson, One Million Cubs. And he was actually <clears throat> in the inaugural Hobby Roundtable with That's us. That's right. Yeah, he goes by KBO Collections both on Twitter and YouTube. Now, George uh, was always with us uh, in the Hobby Evolution uh, chat room, uh, yeah. 7 a.m. Central Time. Uh, it was always interesting. It was nighttime for him. Yeah. And, <laughs> so his, so, his yeah. demeanor and uh, his uh, intoxication may have been a little different. Yeah. Sometimes he'd have a few beverages while we're all... Yeah, it was nighttime for him and Dan. Yeah, so uh, so George is just a great guy, loves the Cardinals. In fact, has taken a little bit of a pivot with his hobbying. Uh, he's gotten really into photography, but he is a great vintage collector and likes some of the oddball art type yeah. cards, which you will see because he bestowed upon Porter and me an incredible mail day. He was stateside yeah. and he had some uh, mail that he was catching up he on. Did. Why don't you show that note? Uh, so I'll show the note off first. So Zach, I uh, told you that I would eventually send this Thomas to you. Enjoy George. And the one he's talking about is in 1997 Pacific Gold. This is certainly not something uh, that Porter and I'd find in, in some of our dime uh, or uh, quarter box looks. This is such a cool card. Thank you so much for this uh, great Frank uh, from the late 90s. He also uh, dropped in this 1990 score. Uh, Mike Singletary Crunch Crew, uh, also known uh, as the original Kabooms. As the original Kabooms. Uh, and then lastly, this is incredible. It's numbered out, It's numbered 112 out of 249. So I'm a big Junk Wax guy. I love some of the unheralded guys from that era, like the Eric Davises and this guy, who uh, is on George's team, or was on George's team at the time, Vince Coleman, uh, numbered out of, what did you say, 249? 249 this is This is a 2016 Topps Tier uh, 1 Prime Performer autograph of Vince Coleman. Now, Vince Coleman, you, you go back, look at Rock Reigns, Ricky Henderson. I mean, this guy, for a period of time, he was there. Yeah. Uh, he was so fast. I know he set records, came into the league, I think, in 85. Uh, had a little bit of trouble uh, as he continued to uh, you know, have some on-field and, and off-the-field uh, off stuff. But I, I cannot believe George sent that. That's absolutely incredible. The only other auto that I have uh, that was manufactured is this Pudge one right here. Uh, I, I've got a couple of, of TTMs, but yeah. uh, that is absolutely incredible. Yeah. So now what we're going to do for Porter's is, and George gave me a heads up on this. He gave Porter, I don't want to say a scavenger hunt, but here, here, why don't you show the note? Okay, it says to Porter, can you figure out the connection between these cards and players? All right, so you're going to go through the four. Yeah. I'll, I'll take Vince and, and put him over here, and then we'll give people the time. We won't have to pause, but yeah. they can pause and figure out what these four players or cards have in common. Now, okay. you figured it out. It took you about a day, Yeah. Uh, but maybe give some clues as you're... Uh, as you're going through. Okay, but well, I don't, I don't want to give it away. Don't give yeah, it away. Yeah, I, I won't give it away. So this is probably by far my oldest card ever. Thank you, George. This is a 1955 Bowman Pee Wee Reese. That's incredible. Yeah. I, I still can't believe that, this you, know, is, that you got that. This is not a reprint. As you can see, it's the original back, and it talks about Stan Musial. Here, I'll put him up. And Stan Musial is the next card I'm going to show. Now, real quick, the reason why you like Pee Wee so much, and Porter loves the history of baseball, is Jackie Robinson's your idol, and Pee Wee was instrumental. Uh, and I also like Duke Snyder from that yeah, team. You do. And but, Roy Campanella. But Pee Wee's cool, and that is just incredible, George. Yeah. Thank you so much. So, Pee Wee, he talks about Stan Musial on the back of the card, and who is who is next? So, this is a 2020 Stadium Club Chrome Stan Musial. Now, we, we talked about this in some previous videos. We just went to St. Louis. So I fell in love with, like, the good Cardinals from pe the past and the present. So, like, Stan Musial, Bob Gibson, Ozzie Smith, Nolan Arenado, Paul Goldschmidt. So and, we got two there. Yeah, yeah, and so these are the same set. This is a 2021 Tops Ken Griffey Jr. That's a 1951 Tops replica. And who's the artist again? Uh, Blake Jameson. Oh, yeah. And then from that same set, here's the Jackie Robinson. 
And this card is really cool. I never even knew this set existed. I just knew that the 1951 top set of that set existed. So the question is, what do these four cards and players have in common? So I figured this out. So now I'll show you my little index card of all the ideas I had. Okay, but if you want to try and you'll pause right now. Okay, they, they did their pause. Okay. All right, now so, you can go through what the answer is. Okay, are. so they all are tops cards. Yes. Tops, 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 tops. Well, it... Bowman. Yeah, Bowman. So they're not really all tops cards. But Bowman is technically tops. Now it is. Yeah. So, and then Pee Wee and Jackie were good friends slash teammates. Stan and Griffey were born in the same town, Denora, Pennsylvania. So that was, for sure, George said that was one of them. And I didn't yeah. know that. I thought Ken Griffey was born in Ohio because his dad was playing for the Reds. Yeah, and... Stan and Griffey share a birthday, November 21st. They're all Hall of Famers, and their uniform numbers add up to 73. Which is just something yeah. that, Dad, that Dad, we just uncovered, but yeah. that wasn't part of the scavenger hunt. Dad told me that Stan Musial's number was 9. Now, I thought it was 9, so I had originally put 76 on here, but it's actually 73. So how did you do? Let us know if you were able to figure it out if you did do the pause. So next up, you've got uh, uh, another nice letter. So it says... Porter, here are a few more cards for your collection. Enjoy, George. And uh, while I get this team bag open, Dad, can you talk about something? <laughs> okay. Um, George, uh, again, check out his channel, KBO Collections. Uh, he used to do what was called the Hobby Drive. And you can go back. It's in his archives where he'd actually be driving around. I think he was driving to work, uh, if we're honest. Uh, he was safe on the road. Yeah. Uh, but uh, he just talked about what was on his mind, what he was collecting, state of the hobby. And it's just, it was great content. Yeah. I really miss him doing that. Okay. And then he sent me another note inside this team bag. Tim Anderson and him went to the same college in Decatur. And the name... Decatur, Mississippi. Yeah, Decatur, Mississippi. And the name is ECCC or East Central Community College. Now, Tim Anderson. This is a 2020, I think it's like top something. It's a tops card, and it's, again, well, these are Blake Jameson, and that, I, and I may butcher the pronunciation, but it's Steve Akoy or Akoy? Yeah, Akoy, Akoy I think. And so Bob I know Steve George Akoy. has always liked that. He likes the art cards, probably why he got into photography as well. Yeah, just it's, it's unique. Now, these next couple, uh, yeah. <laughs> were, I, you were speechless. Yeah, I have never seen this card before. So this is a 2015 Shohei Otani 25th anniversary. Now, it's a Japanese card. So I have never seen or never owned any Japanese cards. So, well, I've seen highlights of Japanese players playing baseball, but I've never seen like any cards or I've never owned any cards of them. It's really cool. Yes. Now this next one, I actually remember George getting in a, uh, in a, in a rip he was doing. It was a redemption. And I can't believe he sent this to you. Yeah, so this is a 2021 Topps Heritage Minor League card of Yolki Cespedes uh, from Winston-Salem Dash. And he it's, got a cup of coffee in the in the majors so far. Yeah. He, he's been raking. I think he had a couple homers the other night. And, and it's uh, autographed. It, it, <laughs> it's unbelievable. George, yeah. you are way too kind here. We can I'll, Take Griffey down. Yeah, I'll take Griffey down if yeah, I'm Yolki there. Because Jackie, Jackie's more important than Griffey. Yeah, we'll leave Jackie up the whole time. Last but not least, this is a 2009 Legendary Cuts Upper Deck SP, Pedro Martinez and Bob Gibson, auto, or excuse me, not autograph, memorabilia jersey card. Are, isn't that part of their jerseys? Yeah, so that I believe if you look at the back, I believe it does say it was uh, game, warm, uh, game worn uh, memorabilia. Yeah. So uh, Bob Gibson and Pedro Martinez. That is amazing. You know, Bob Gibson was an incredibly feared pitcher. Pedro um, also. And Pedro yeah. was a big guy. And uh, he was just awesome. In fact, I've I said like this for a while. Pedro. Pedro, Smoltz, Maddox, Randy Johnson. A lot of guys that are, yeah. are just a little underappreciated in the hobby. Certainly not for us. And that's why we like finding a ton of their stuff in, yeah. in diamond quarter boxes. So George, this was a, a legendary mail day. Uh, KBO Collections. You can check them out on Twitter or YouTube. Um, we will take a pause, clean this up, and then we will be back uh, with some stuff from our guy, Sweatpants Slabs. All right. 
we are back. And yes, we, wanna, we are. <laughs> we, we did a little cleanup there, uh, and we made an executive decision that Pee Wee and Vince are going to be out for, yeah. for a while here. They're just too great not to continue yeah. to share. Uh, so our next uh, thank you actually wasn't a mail day. It was a, a face-to-face handoff. Yeah. Uh, thank you to Lance at Sweatpants Slabs. Uh, you can find him on Twitter. I don't believe he does any YouTube content, uh, but recently I participated with Porter in one of his stack sales. We usually look for the PWE option, uh, and it's a great way to just pinpoint a couple of cards that uh, normally we'd find the diamond quarter boxes. Yeah. Um, and so I, I've mentioned this before. If you are on Twitter um, and you can read their vouch threads under any of these stack sellers, it is a great way uh, to find cards that are unique uh, to your collection. Yeah. Uh, I think a lot of sellers do it Again, you know, eBay has fees, like this is a, a great way. And, and you do PayPal, Venmo, and, and everything's protected. But we actually got to do this in person because he's he's local to us. And he said, hey, you're going to be at the Oak Creek show, uh, you know. And we said, yeah, yeah, we'll be over there. So he said, I'll bring the cards just in case. Well, we were able to actually stand next to him yeah. for a while at the uh, Diamond at, Quarter Boxes. Yeah. And uh, it was just really nice to, to get. In fact, he called out a couple. He's like, hey, do you need this pudge? Yeah. To go do this? That, was, that was pretty cool. So uh, the three that caught our eye uh, when we were participating in the stack sale, a 1985 Tops record breaker, Walter Payton. Yeah. Uh, we needed that for the 1985 uh, Bears PC. Uh, as we've mentioned before, love Barry Sanders, even though he's, uh, you know, a uh, 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 arrival of the Chicago yeah, Bears. but he's still on the Heisman house. So we do, you know what, you're right. There yeah. you go. So we, we did not have this 1990 tops. And so what's interesting is there are variations of this card. Uh, on the back, some of the 1990 tops have this uh, right here. They they do or do not have uh, the uh, trademark and all that information. And then some of them don't have the hash lines down here. Yeah, uh, I, I didn't even So if you're on Trading Card that. Database, you will you will see that. Uh, and then the last card that uh, I had picked up was one that was actually the first one that I saw that he yeah. posted and said, okay, uh, Porter probably wants this. Let's yeah. grab it, and then we'll go back and look at the rest of his sales. Okay, so this is a 2010 Tops Tales of the Game, Jackie Robinson. And he we love this play. Yeah, he steals home in the in the World Series, and it's, I think it's Game 5, and it's against Yogi, and I think it's also in 1955, which is a coinkidink, and we love that play where Yogi's arguing and, like, getting his <laughs> face in the umpire's face. And, <laughs> it's, it's just a great historical moment for baseball. So Try and search that on YouTube. Again, thank you, Lance. Sweatpants Slabs. Yeah. Uh, check him out on Twitter. He's got some great stack sales that are going intermittently, uh, more heavier in the summertime. Uh, so hopefully you can check that out as well. want to thank everybody for checking out this mail day, uh, subscribing, and enjoying our YouTube commentary and leaving comments. And we just really appreciate you. Bye-bye.